Do you sometimes feel like you're walking straight into the dragon's mouth or maybe just walking into the unknown and you don't know whether you are going to be walking straight into the dragon's mouth? The unknown can be really frightening and really scary. Our ego does not like the unknown. It likes safe, known, regular, every day, don't change a thing and I'll be happy. But unfortunately, the unknown happens and we have to journey into the unknown pretty much every day. Sometimes we notice it more than others. And I think right now, given all of the craziness that's going on in the world and the astrology at the moment, we're all walking into the unknown. So today we're going to work on a rite that you can do. Again, it's a candle rite, my favorite rites. Working with a candle to help you face the unknown in a way that's actually going to help you. But before we do, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path. And if you want to do just that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. And if you are interested in learning Wicca, you just don't know where to start, where to begin, what to do, then have a look at my free video, How to Start Your Witchcraft Practice. The link is in the description field below this video. You may be facing the unknown right now, big time. It might be due to relationship, breakdown or a new relationship even. It might be a new job or it might be the loss of a job. It could be anything that's changed in your life that's quite significant to you that's causing fear of the unknown. Our ego likes to play it safe. That's its whole point of being is to keep us safe. So when something changes or something throws us into the unknown, the ego goes into quite a tizzy because it, it's like, it's dangerous, it's change, it's different. I can't predict what's going to happen, therefore it's dangerous. And that's not always the case, but it feels like it's the case. And the unknown really can challenge our root chakra because the root chakra is all about stability and security and, and trust and, and feeling you know, grounded and, and really well founded in the earth. And so when we face the unknown, we lose our sense of foundation, we lose our sense of security, we lose our sense of safety. So you may feel it in the root chakra area and you may actually feel that in that part of your body, um, in your feet, in your, in your legs uh, and in that very lower part of your body. So why not do something to help you through this from a magical point of view and also it helps you from a psychological point of view too because it it's helping you face the unknown. It's helping you know there's a cave ahead of me and it's a void. I can't see anything. It's dark. I can't see. And that's all it is. That's all the unknown is. It's just something you can't see. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't even mean it's good. It doesn't mean necessarily anything. It could be neutral. It's just the fear that we can't see. So just understand it's just your ego going into a tizzy because you've got a lot of beliefs going on in, in your head about how things should be. We've been told too that uh, we need to have certain things in our lives to, to make us safe and maybe it's a time of questioning our beliefs at times of these unknown uh, journeys that we go on. So let's get down to doing a very, very simple rite. A black candle is the great color to work with because black symbolizes the darkness of the unknown. Can't see in the dark. So very similar to when we work with removing curses, we will use a black candle. Black absorbs. So when you're working with the black, not only is it symbolizing the unknown, it's also absorbing some of that, that fear of the unknown there for you too. So place your candle on your altar or wherever it is that you're working and then prepare yourself for your rite. So because I'm working with the unknown and working with the, the idea of the darkness of the unknown, I've used a black altar cloth as well. So just staring into the darkness and just looking into the color black and how that is like walking into the dark cave. It's walking into the dragon's mouth. It's, it's walking into the unknown. 
And it may not even be a dragon's mouth you're walking into. It could be something really, really positive. You just don't know. Allow yourself to feel the fear. Focus on your root chakra. Do you feel like you're connected to the ground, into the earth? Or do you feel like your energy is more further up your body? Because if you're frightened or anxious, your energy is actually going to go up into the higher chakras and cause mayhem up there. <laughs> and what you want to do is bring your energy back down to root because you want to earth it down into the ground. So just imagine you've got these tree roots going down, down, down into the ground. And you're sitting there solid on the ground, looking at this black candle. It hasn't been lit yet. And this is the earth. This is the solid foundation that you're grounding yourself toward. And as you feel the roots going down into the earth, start to feel more solid, more secure, more connected. This is what connection is. When we're feeling unconnected or disconnected, it's because we're not rooted into the earth. We're not connecting to the energy around us. We're not connecting to the field. We're not connecting to spirit. So when you start to feel that connection to earth and to ground, you'll notice that the anxiety will start to leave you because you're channeling it down into the ground for transformation. And then when it's time, light the candle. And the symbol of the flame of the candle is you lighting your way in the dark. It's your torch light for this journey into the dark cave. The flame is the flame of hope. It's the flame of faith. Faith in yourself, faith in spirit, faith in the goddess, the god, faith in you being a spiritual being, having a human experience and knowing that because you are an infinite being, you are infinite awareness, whatever you want to call it, this is your light in the dark. The light is your faith. And faith isn't a word we use a lot in paganism. Faith is really just having that confidence of knowing in, in whatever it is you have faith in. So maybe you want to have, start having some faith in your spiritual journey, your higher self leading you. Allow yourself to just surrender to your higher self's path and have faith that you are walking the path you're meant to walk as you focus on the flame. Now you can use a taper candle for this. I like to use a thicker candle that will last over quite a number of days, even weeks for this sort of thing. It depends how big the unknown is. It might be something that's coming you, that you're walking towards and it may be taking you a while to walk towards it, but you know it's coming. It may be something you need to pr prepare for. Uh, in It may take you a few weeks to prepare for it. Or it just may take you allow yourself a few weeks to be able to build that faith. So spend as much time as you feel you need to focusing on this. And then when you're ready, snuff the candle out, come back to it the next day. This can be part of your meditation practice on a daily basis. This is all about bringing the sacred back into your life. It's all about connection. This is how we connect with ourselves, with spirit and with the gods. Know that this too will pass. Nothing ever stays the same. Life is flux. So just a reminder, if you are wanting to start your witchcraft practice, your Wiccan practice, but you don't know where to start, what to do, how to organize your learning so that you are able to practice step by step, have a look at how to start your witchcraft practice. The link is in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.